fairly unanimous views there. With us now, the writer and parenting expert Liz Fraser and Stephanie Kalman, author of Confessions of a Bad Mother. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Right. Too much sexualization of children on TV, yes or no? Uh, yes, uh, not only on television, but in adverts, on the sides of buses, on billboards, pretty much everywhere we go, in clothes shops. You can buy padded bras for six-year-old children. You can buy high heels for babies. One does have to wonder about that. This is absolutely not a question of prudishness. It's not a question of, oh, we're all panicking because, you know, children are being taught about sex at the age of four. It's really nothing to do with that. It's to do with, I mean, look at the results of the survey. Nine out of ten parents who are asked are saying that they think there are too many images of sex and sexualization which is not the same as nudity, by the way. Nakedness is good and it's natural, and I think children should be much more comfortable to be naked running around when they're little children. It, and that's completely separate to what we're talking about here. It's, it's a drip feed right. into young girls of what, and boys of what their purpose in life is and how important sex is to be popular and liked and okay. successful. Stephanie, too many sexualized Im <coughs> images before of children the watershed, of which is what these parents are saying to the survey? My problem with all of this is if you ask people a question in a survey, you know, do you think there is a problem with, many of them will say yes. The problem is, what exactly are they talking about? You know, my idea of a sexualized image may not be the same as yours, it may not be the same as yours well, or yours. That's the first problem. This is talking about uh, padded bras, it's quite kids, subjective. high heels. Yeah, there's no evidence that children. changes actual sexual behavior. There is absolutely no evidence of that whatsoever. There That's is my evidence to say that younger and younger girls are having all kinds of psychological problems. They feel under enormous pressure. There was a big survey done by the Girl Guarding Association in 2008 that found that the biggest pressure that these young girls are finding, the biggest um, emotional pressure, they feel feel under pressure, this is their words, under pressure to be more grown up than they feel ready to be grown up. Pop videos, there, there was a classic case at Christmas of, of a pop star on the television at, during the middle of a family viewing programme, gyrating, half under, basically simulating sex. I was watching it with my 13 year old, my 10 year old and my 7 year old. That's about. correct, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the X Factor thing. Right. And there was a huge yeah. uproar okay. about that. Still no it was embarrassing, it was right, not definitely. right. Still no evidence that actual behaviour has changed. I agree with you, people feel That's under true. pressure. I think we did, I mean there was a thing when I I was at school about who was going to lose it first. It's awful to think of it now. And what age but was that at, roughly, would you was, say? That was at 15 and 16. Okay, try 9 and the 10 point now. Is, the point is, you've got, to, you've got to come up with evidence that 9 and 10 year olds are having sex. I don't think most okay. of them are. So that actually hasn't changed. I think what happens is, to, you know, one of the things that happens when you hit puberty is you start worrying. You do start worrying about being popular. But if you look at what the big problems are in schools, there are two big problems at that age. One, eating disorders and obesity. And the other one is... Um, Bullying. bullying. And that's a, a much lot bigger of, problem. So I think we so must much keep bullying this is to do with sexuality. No, so no, much it is about, oh, it she's isn't. not cool and you're not gorgeous, which is why they're stuffing it's, these no, padded no, bras is it to at the do age with 11. Is, is that not, not in is bullying to do with sexualized images? No, I think it's to do with seen. It's to do with, I think it's to do with a lot of things. I think it's partly to do with, it's partly to do with envy. Bullying. The bullying that I've observed and that I experienced myself years ago and I've observed in some of the kids we know, it's usually to do with, you know, one person becomes a bit popular and the others and don't. And why? Really and why? And, and these young girls, no. if you ask them, go to a primary school, please, if you ask them, they will say, I'm not as cool as her, she's cooler than me. And what these children are yep. understanding in their mind, just one minute, yep. it's not to do with what age they're having sex. You know, that's a, a, for a whole other discussion. It's to do with what they feel valuable as and what they think is how they should portray themselves. There is there's yes. a big difference between words and the way words are said, and there's a big difference between dressing a certain way and moving and behaving a certain way. Yeah. When I see yeah. eight-year-olds, you know, strutting their stuff and behaving in a very yeah, sexual they, way, they don't know what girls, that means. Girls like to show off. Yes, girls like to show off themselves. But actually, when you look at the real, in, the most important influences on children and pre-16, it seems to me it's how your parent, parents behave at home. You know, if you want your That's daughter to have, you know, good self-esteem, I think she has to observe you, her mother, being respected and being treated properly. And the thing I come down very hard on, you know, is anything to do with women being sort of objectified or treated badly or violence against Definitely. them in images. And I mean, that, I just, I just, you know, I don't want to be anywhere near that. And, you know, I think there is a, quite a lot of hysteria around this subject. You know, if you look at people's actual behaviour, it's changed very little. Kids worry about the same things. Yes, of course they worry about, are they good looking, or are they tall enough, or yes, do they have a figure? They worry about it. It doesn't mean they're actually having sex earlier. There is no evidence. And actually, the average age of, of menstruation for girls is still 13. So that has not changed. Are you talking about no. girls? Is it just girls? I was going to say, and it's well? because the problem is also mm. for boys, because they don't know how to react also to these girls, because they're being fed the image all the time that well, girls are sexual things and girls should be sexual. And the 
the other thing that I wanted to say um, before about parents being role models, you know, every survey that is ever done shows mother and father to be the number one role models, but you can not uh, ignore the fact that they are massively influenced by what they see in the media and on the television and at school and on the internet and they're texting each other now. It's a, it's a really big problem. It really isn't hysteria. Look at the results of this survey and in fact many of the respondents to this survey said that they don't make complaints because they're worried about people like you making them feel prudish and no, I, don't I don't think, think we that. should, I don't okay, think we should definitely need to change no, no, something. No, no, no I, don't, I don't think it's prudish. I think we all have perfectly legitimate concerns. I do as much as anybody else us. But I think it's quite a good thing to take this opportunity to open up the debate. You know, at home, if you're watching now, mm. why not talk about it? Because everybody has a different view. Well, talking about okay. it is great, but we need to do something okay. about it. So. That's it. But we to this we started with the talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can agree on that. Well, we Thanks very much, both of you.